Okay, namaste everyone. Please sit in a comfortable meditative posture. Back straight, head neck in a single line. Place your both the palm on your knees. I'm facing downward. Now gently close your eyes. And focus on your incoming and outgoing breath. Just follow and observe your both incoming and outgoing breath. The air we are in inhaling is cold in nature. We can feel it at the tip of our nostril, further in the floor of our nostril, then in our throat. The air we are exhaling is a little warm in nature. We can feel it under our nostril, above upper lip. If following your incoming and outgoing breath, Automatically, the length of both inhalation and exhalation will be increased. Keep following, keep observing your breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. One more time. Prepare yourself, prepare your mind for this session. We will start with opening prayer. Join your both arms together. Adapt Namaskar Mudra. We are going to chat the opening prayer. Inhale. Om Asatoma Sat Gamaya Tamasoma Jyoti Gamaya Mritu Amritam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Shri Rabi Bhutapa Janak Samhit Apply this hit gently on your face and around your neck. Now place your Bhutapa on your knees and gently open your eyes. Okay, so as usual, we will start with our Kapalbhati to remove the stiffness. So, only 50 strokes of Kapalbhati will be doing, but the thrust should be light. Don't apply extra forces, the thrust should be light. Okay, start. Close your eyes, back straight, head neck in a single line with every forceful exhalation. So with every exhalation, stomach should go inside. The force should be light. It will be good for the heart in that purpose. Start.
Okay, after 50 strokes, you can stop practicing. Keep your eyes closed, observe the effect of Kapalabhati. Observe your breathing. And prepare yourself for the next set of practices. The few Shukshma Vyama will be doing here to remove the blockage from the path of energy flow. So first we'll be starting with neck rotation. So for neck rotation, bring your chin to the chest. Then start rotating your neck in any one direction. After completion of rotation in that direction, rotate your neck in the opposite direction. That is one round. We'll do two more rounds. Last round. Okay. After three rounds, you can stop practicing. Okay. Now we'll go for shoulder rotation. So, raise your both arms at your shoulder level, turn your palm up, touch your shoulder, then join your both the elbows in front of your chest. And now start rotating your shoulder in any one direction. We will rotate five round in clockwise direction and five round in anti-clockwise direction. During the rotation of shoulder, observe your shoulder joints, observe your lumbar spine, thoracic spine, also observe your chest muscles. The chest muscles, heart muscles will also be stressed during this, along with our spine and shoulder joints. Just observe. Now start rotating in the opposite direction. After five rounds, you can stop practicing. Slowly drop your both hands. Okay. Now, twisting will be doing. So, place your left hand at your back. Place your right hand on your left knee. Exhale, twist towards your left and look back. Inhale, center, then exhale. Push towards your right side, look back. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Focus on your lower back muscles as well as your chest muscles. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, come to the center. Okay. The next practice we'll be doing is butterfly. Now join your both the toes together. Okay. Now interlock your fingers, catch your toes. Now start flipping your thighs and knees. Do it for 20 to 30 rounds. After 20 to 30 rounds, you can stop practicing. Judge your both the legs forward. Put the hands by the side of your body. 
now start rotating your ankle joints 10 times in clockwise direction and then 10 times in anti clockwise direction Okay, now some exercise for our toes. Point your toes and flex. Point your toes and flex. It will improve the blood flow in our toes also. Point and flex. Okay. Now, we will do a few practice for our wrist joint. So make a loose fist with your thumb inside. And then rotate your wrist in clockwise direction for 10 rounds. And then take clockwise direction for 10 rounds. Okay, now stretch your fingers, make a tight fist. Stretch your fingers, make a tight fist. Stretch your fingers, make a tight fist. Two more round. Okay. Okay, now the next part, we will we can stand on our mat. So during practice to increase the lung capacity, to expand our chest, expand our heart muscles, we'll be doing some breathing practices. So <clears throat> stretch your both the palm in front of your chest, palm facing each other. Inhale, expand your both the arms sideways. Close your eyes, inhale and exhale, bring them together, bring your both of them together. <clears throat> During inhalation, feel the expansion of your chest muscles, expansion of your heart muscles. Inhale, very good for our chest, very good for our heart. And exhale slowly. Inhale slowly and deeply. Expand your heart. Exhale. Last round. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly. With exhalation, drop your both arms by the side of your body. Another practice we'll be doing for expanding our heart, for to take care of our heart. Both the palm by the side of your body, join your both the legs together. Inhale, raise your both arms over your head. Then arch back from your upper body. Observe your chest muscle. Observe the expression of your heart. Then exhale, both the palm by the side of your body. Again, inhale up. Arch back. Exhale, both the palm by the side of your body. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Relax. Relax for a few seconds. Okay. Now our body is ready for the practice of Surya Namaskar. So three rounds of Surya Namaskar will be doing. So during Surya Namaskar, during all the back bending and forward bending, try to focus on your back as well as your expansion of your chest and expansion of your heart muscles. Try to concentrate. So for Surya Namaskar, stand at the top of your mat, join your both the legs together, as well as side of your body. Expand your chest, roll back your shoulders. This is the perfect position that is called Samasthiti. From Samasthiti, one, Namaste. Two, inhale, Hatsuttanasana. Observe the expansion of your chest muscle, of expansion of your heart. Three, exhale, bend forward. Padastasana. Four, Inhale, right leg back, Ashkotam Chalana. 
five, left leg also back, hips up, turning towards the sky, head rounded, Parvatasana. Six, inhale and exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar. Seven, inhale, Vijangasana. Eight, exhale, Parvatasana. Nine, inhale, right leg. Right foot in between your both arm. Close your eyes, look up. Ashpa Sanchalana with right leg forward. Ten, exhale, left leg also in between both the arm. Padasthasana, exhale. Now inhale, come up to Hasto Padasana. And to that Namaste. We'll continue from Namaste. Inhale. Hastapanasana. Exhale. Padastasana. Inhale, right leg there. Ashwasan Jalana. Exhale, left leg of the leg. Padabhutasana. Then inhale and exhale. Ashtanga Nashkar. No, inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Parvatasana. No, inhale, right foot in between, Bhutavam. Ashwasanchalana. Exhale, Padrasthasana. Inhale, Kama, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Namaste. We'll continue. From Namaste, a last round. Inhale, Hastapanasana. Stay for two seconds. Exhale, Padastasana. Inhale, right leg back. Ashwasan Chalana. Exhale, Padastasana. Inhale and exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar. Then inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Parvatasana. Inhale and exhale. Sorry. Inhale. Ashtanga Chalana. Exhale, Padastasana. Inhale, come up. Prasthottanasana, arch back. And exhale, Namaste. After Namaste, slowly drop your both the palms to the side of your body after Samasthiti. And then relax in. Siti. Siti Tadasana, Shithila Tadasana. Both the palms 6 to 8 inches away from your body. 1 to 2 feet gap between your legs. Close your eyes. Observe the effect of Surya Namaskar, especially in your chest region. Observe the extension of our chest muscles. Observe the increasing lung capacity, increasing breathing capacity. Observe the expansion of our heart muscle. Observe the effect of Surya Namaskar in our heart. Observe the improved blood circulation. Observe your breath. Relax. Relax. And prepare yourself for the next asanas. So today actually we are practicing the asanas that will be good for our heart, for strengthening our heart. So the first asana we will be practicing is third asana, very good asanas. So join you both the legs together and by the side of your body. Inhale, raise your both arms above your head. Interlock your fingers, turn your palm up. Now, 
to further inhalation stand on your toes and stretch yourself up pull yourself up as if someone is pulling you towards the sky especially observe your chest muscles observe your heart muscles which are getting stretched we should improve the blood supply observe your breath now to release this posture exhale first your feet will be grounded now turn your palm towards your head exhale drop your both the palm by the side of your body come to samasthiti and relax in shitala tadasana close your eyes observe the effect of tadasana on our heart observe the improved blood circulation observe your breath and prepare yourself for the next asana the next asana is arthagati chakra asana or lateral chakra asana so join your both hands together again both the palm by the side of your body inhale raise your right hand above your head by self stretching the air fingers pointing towards the sky exhale bend laterally towards your left side as much as you can comfortably and stay there observe your lateral stretching as well as observe your chest muscles observe your observe the extension of heart muscle observe the effect in your heart Now to release this asana, inhale, come to the center. Exhale, drop your right hand by the side of your body. Now we'll do the same asana with our left side. Inhale, raise your left hand above your head. By stretching the air, exhale, bend laterally towards your right side. Observe the stretching in our left lateral side. Observe your breath. To release this pose, inhale, come to the center. Exhale, drop your left arm by the side of your body. Now relax in Shithila Tadasana. Naskiti Tadasana. Observe the effect of Kati Chakrasana or Lateral Chakrasana on our chest region. Try to observe the effect in our heart. Try to Feel the improved blood supply. Observe your breath and relax. And prepare yourself for the next asana. The next asana we are doing is Virbhadrasana, which will basically work on our chest region. Many reasons it will, but today we will concentrate on chest region. So. Go to the left side of your mat. Now move your right leg out from your left leg. Turn your right toes towards the right side. Turn your entire upper body towards the right side. Now bend your right leg at your knee. So your high muscle, higher calf will be 90 degree to each other. Now inhale. Raise your both arm above your head. Add up Namaskar Mudra. Look up towards your Namaskar Mudra. Towards your palm. You can little arch back if you are comfortable. Now observe the expansion of your chest region. Observe the expansion of your heart. Observe your breath. Stay there. Very good for our heart. So to release this posture, upper body, first upper body, make upper body part from the ground to the ground. Look forward. Now exhale, drop your both arm hands by the side of your body. Inhale, come up, now turn your chest towards the screen, turn your toes towards the screen, now join you both the legs together. Now go to the right side of your mat, we'll do the same asana with our left side. Now move your left leg away from your right leg, now turn your toes of your left leg towards the right side, okay. now turn your chest or upper body towards the left side, sorry. Now. Bend your left leg at your knee. Inhale, both the arms above your head, adapt Namaskar Mudra. And then look at your palm. Hang your head freely. 
and again observe the expansion of your chest region. Observe the expansion of your heart to release this posture. First, look forward. Exhale, wobble both the palms and carry full body. Inhale, come up. Now, turn your chest proper body towards the screen. Turn your toes towards the screen. Then join your both legs together. And come to some steady. Now relax. In Chitila Tadasana. One to two feet here between your legs. Both the palms are six to eight inches here from your body. Close your eyes. Observe the effect of deep Madhrasana or warrior pose. One in our chest region. Relax. Observe your breath and relax. Now slowly lie down on your bed, on your mat in Shavasana. We'll be continuing from supine posture. Lie down on your mat in Shavasana on your bed. Join both the legs together, hands by the side of your body, palm facing downward. The first asana we are going to do is Pavan Mukta Asana. Inhale, raise your both the legs slowly at 90 degree. Now, exhale. Bend your both the legs at your knee. Automatically, your knee will come. So your knees will go over all. Yes. Now, interlock your fingers and hug your knees. Press your thighs against your abdomen. Inhale. Raise your head and try to touch your knees with your chin. And stay there. Concentrate on your chest region. Observe the effect of this asana in our chest region. Now, release this posture. Inhale, exhale, drop your head on the ground. Both the palm by the side of your body. Inhale, make your both the legs 90 degree. And exhale, slowly drop your legs on the ground. Relax in Shavasana. Relax. Observe the effect of Pavan Muktasana. And prepare yourself for the next asana. The next asana is Katuvandasana. This will extensively work on our chest muscles, our chest region. But if you are suffering from high blood pressure or any cardiac diseases and cervical pain, please avoid this asana. So, how to do this asana? Both the palms with the side of your body, join your both the legs together, then bend your both the legs at your knee, place your both the heels close to our hips, then catch your right ankle joint with your right hand and left ankle joint with your left hand. Now, with inhalation, raise your upper body from your hips up to our shoulder. Up. So, your body will be looking like a bridge. Now, Especially concentrate on your chest muscles. Especially concentrate on your chest region. Expansion of your chest. Expansion of your heart muscles. Observe the effect. Release this posture. Exhale. Drop your upper body on the ground. And extend your legs. Stretch your legs forward. Relax in Shavasana. Two to three feet here between your legs. Arms are six to eight inches away from your body, facing towards the sky. Observe the effect of Setu Vandasana in our chest region. These all backbending asanas will work on our Anahata Chakra, that is the heart center or heart region. That's why all these asanas which are working on our Anahata Chakra 
is very good for strengthening our heart also calming our emotions the next asana is hridaya sambhasana specifically good for heart that's why the name is hridaya sambhasana how to do it join you both the legs together both the palm by the side of your body palm facing downward now inhale raise both the hand above your head palm facing up by such touching the ear inhale and exhale now with inhalation raise your both the legs at 45 degree and raise your both the hands both the arms up to shoulder up at 45 degree both arms will be at 45 degree so this position is called hridaya stambha asana very good for heart it is said regular practice of this asana will prevent coronary diseases so to release this posture exhale upper body will be grounded then ground your both the legs now place your both the palm at the side of your body and relax in shavasana observe the effect of hridaya stambha asana in your chest region of the perfect in your heart relax observe your breath slowly join your both legs together both the hands by the side of your body now turning towards the left side lie down on your stomach in prone position join your both legs together hands by the side of your body palm facing up your forehead will be grounded now prepare yourself for bhujangasana place your both the palm by the side of your body side of your chest place your both the palm by the side of your chest inhale raise your upper body up to navel up to the right and look up now observe the expansion of your chest observe the expansion of your heart muscle concentrate on anahata chakra that is the heart chakra this asana is also very good for strengthening our heart now to raise this posture exhale drop your upper body on the ground place your both the palm by the side of your body forehead rounded Yeah, then we will do one more asana in this position. Now slowly bend your both the legs at your knee. Now catch your right hand also with the right hand, left hand also with the left hand. Inhale, raise your lower body up. Try to pull your pull both the legs towards your ear, and then with other inhalation, raise your upper body also up. So the body will be looking like a bow. Then do the asana. concentrate on your anahata chakra concentrate at your heart center observe the expansion of your chest muscles heart muscles observe the effect in your chest region to relieve this posture and say drop your legs on the ground eyes on the ground basically then upper body on the ground hold it grounded now stretch your legs place your both the palm by the side of your body and now relax in Makara asana. Three to four feet gap between your legs. Place your forehead on the cushion. Make by placing one palm over the other. Relax. Observe the effect of Makara asana in our chest region. Relax. Slowly. Join your both legs together. Place your both the palm by the side of your body with the support of your legs and palm. Slowly come to Vajrasana. Both the legs will be bent at knees. Sit in between your both the 
is now release your bottle as one by one. Stretch them forward. Now you can sit in any comfortable meditative posture. Preferably in Padmasana. If you are not able to sit in Padmasana, you can sit in Sukhasana or any comfortable asana. For Padmasana, bend your right leg at your knee, place your right heel above your or at the root of your left thigh. And similarly, bend your left leg at your knee, place the left heel or left feet at the root or above our right thigh. Now place your buddha palm on your knees. So we are going to do Parvatrasana in sitting position, which is very good for our heart center, which is very good for our chest region. Or uh, if you are find, if you are finding it difficult to sit in Padmasana, you can sit in any asana. Okay, now inhale, slowly raise your buddha arms above your head by touching the air. Add up Namaskar Mudra. Stretch yourself up. This is Parvatasana. Focus on your Anahata Chakra. That is the heart center. Observe the extension, expansion of our chest muscles, heart muscles. Your focus will be on specifically Anahata Chakra. This asana will also strengthen our heart. Stay there for a few more, few seconds. Release this posture, exhale, slowly drop your Buddha hands by the side of your body. Place your Buddha palm on your knees. Stay there. Keep your eyes closed. Observe the effect of Parvatasana in your Anahata Chakra. Feel the changes. Relax. Now slowly release Padmasana. Stretch your both the legs one by one. Stretch them forward. Come to Dandasana first. Stretch your both the legs will be stretched. Toes will be either pointing towards you or pointing towards the sky. Now from this position, make three to four feet gap between your legs. Both the palm at your back to support your upper body. Lean back, hang on that freely, relax, relax, then with the support of your Buddha palm, forearm and elbow, slowly lie down in Shavasana, lie down in Shavasana, three to four feet gap between your legs, Buddha palms are fixed in the cell from your body, Keep your eyes closed. We'll relax our body now. All the parts of our body will be relaxed in this position. Don't fall asleep. Just tell yourself, I am relaxing. Observe your entire body. Observe your breath. Observe the effect of all the asanas, Shukma Vyamas. Specifically, in our chest region. In our heart region. Now we relax our all the body parts one by one. Starting from our toes. Slowly concentrate on your toes. Exhale and relax the muscle of toes. Just try to visualize your toes with your mental eyes and instruct the muscles to relax. If we do so, if we try to visualize any part with our mental eyes, our prana starts flowing there, which heals that area. Now relax your ankle joints. Exhale and relax. Exhale and relax your calf muscles. 
What the hell? Knee cap, knee joint. Relax. Exhale and relax. Exhale and relax your thigh muscles. Focus on your pelvic region. Exhale deeply and relax your pelvic region. Now slowly. Focus on your lower back. Exhale and relax. Relax your abdominal muscles. Now focus on your chest region. Exhale. Relax the chest muscles. Now relax your muscles of upper back. Exhale, focus on your upper back and relax. Relax your shoulder joints, upper arm, forearm. Wrist joints, palm, fingers one by one. Exhale and relax. Slowly shift your concentration to the upper part of your body. Exhale and relax your throat muscles, neck muscles. This time your facial muscles should be loosened. Don't tighten them. Exhale, relax your facial muscles. Relax your ears, observe your eyeballs, relax them, observe your eyelids, exhale and relax, focus on your forehead, back of your head, exhale and relax, slowly come back to your chest region, Focus on your Anahata Chakra. Feel the muscle of chest. Feel your heart. Concentrated Anahata Chakra. Feel the improved blood circulation. Feel the blood pumping of blood by heart. Feel the improved circulation of blood in the entire body. Keep focusing on Anahata Chakra. Now inhale. Exhale slowly and relax. Relax your heart. Relax. With every exhalation, feel the relaxation throughout all tension or is out of your body and inhale, recharge yourself with fresh energy from the nature. Keep observing your heart region. Inhale deeply. We'll chant three rounds of Omkara. Inhale. 
Feel the vibration of Omkara in your heart region. Ridavichinnam Omkaram Gantanadam Visirnavat. The unbroken vibration flow of Omkara in your heart region. Exhale and relax your heart. Feel relaxation. Due to the vibration of Omkara. Slowly be aware about your body and your surroundings. Give little movements in your fingers and in your toes. Join your both the legs together, hands by the side of your body. Now, slowly take your left hand above your head. Bend your right leg at your knee, right palm on your abdomen. Now slowly turn towards the left side. Stretch your both the legs, place your right palm over your right thigh. So your body will be balanced on your left lateral side. Feel the lateral consciousness, linear consciousness. Stay there for a few seconds, relax, take your time, slowly bend your both the legs at your knee, place your right palm in front of your chest, with the support of your both the palm, legs, slowly come to the sitting position. Sit in a comfortable meditative posture. Keep your eyes closed. Observe the relaxation within you. We will continue this relaxation by chanting Brahmri Pranayam. For Brahmri Pranayam, either you can adopt Shanmukhi Mudra or simply you can practice Brahmri Pranayam by placing both the palm on your knees as you wish. Better you can adopt Shanmukhi Mudra. So Brahmri Pranayam, the vibration of Brahmri Pranayam will induce relaxation to our entire body, to our heart. So we'll practice Brahmri Pranayam for three to five rounds. So I'm adopting Shamukhi Mudra. You can adopt or you can practice simply by placing both the palm on your knees. So for Shamukhi Mudra, play, plug your both the ears with your thumb. Place your index finger on your eyebrows. Middle finger over our eyes, carrying finger by the side of our nostrils, the little finger by the side of our lips. Inhale, during exhalation, we will produce the humming sound of honeybee. Inhale. Mm. Mm. 
press three to five ground. Place your both the palm on your knees. Feel the vibration produced due to Brahmari. This vibration will induce relaxation within you. Feel the relaxation, especially in our heart region. Relax. Now we can observe your breath, which is much more slower and stable. Observe both inhalation and exhalation. Keep observing your both inhalation and exhalation. Observe the pause after the inhalation and just before the beginning of beginning of exhalation there is a small pause or gap observe this gap or pause this is the area of silence where there is no inhalation no exhalation keep observing this gap with every observation this gap or pause will widen Imagine a beautiful ocean of silence with all the waves of Omkara in it. I imagine that all the waves of Omkaras and merging together and emerging a single one omkara at this omkara in your heart region all the waves of omkaras merged and emerged a single one omkara and now becoming audible within you. Inhale. Oh. Feel the vibration of Omkara. Feel the bliss in your heart region. Feel the relaxation in our heart region and in our entire body and mind. Maintain this for the rest of the day. We'll end this session here. Adap Namaskar Mudra. Inhale. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhatrani Pashantu Ma Paschit Dukkha Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Rub your Pota palms, generate some heat. Apply this heat on your face gently and around your neck. Again, rub your Pota palms. Now apply this heat on your Shoulder, arms, chest, abdomen, back, thighs and legs everywhere. Now slowly join the edges of your Buddha palm in front of your eyes. With few blinks, open your eyes and look at your palm. Aryum, Namaste for joining this session. Thank you.